fellow Americans. Let's get right down to the issues. If you vote for me, these are things that I believe in. First off, trans, transportation problems. Our highways, they're horrendous. I want to fix that. Next up, a lot of talk about the wall. It needs to be much, much bigger. Uh, uh, let's, let's bulldoze the wall, get rid of it. Uh, let's do like two medium-sized walls. Yeah, with razor wire. No, uh, like a small strand of barbed wire on the top. I think. Yeah, that's that's what we will do. Speaking of the wall, let's get rid of the Browns. The Cleveland Browns. They're really bad. Like they never win. They're never gonna win a Super Bowl. So like, what's the purpose? Wasting our time on them. Something I'm very passionate about, abort, ab aborting the mission to Mars. We'll never be able to survive there, so like, let's waste some money on that. And finally, the wage gap. Something we always talk about. It's, it's so messed up right now. It's way, way too small. We need to make it way bigger. I mean, women can't do stuff as good as we can. It's very clear. I pay her way too much. I don't even know what she does. She makes, she, she makes good sandwiches for, for us and the boys, but like, that should fix a lot of problems for me right there. Minimum wage for women, $3.50. You all like it? Yeah! And free ads for everyone! Thank you! Thank you, Paul! We spent the last six years collecting gun inventions that actually exist. Companies make these and you can buy them. But the question is, should you? Uh, stick around to the end. Oh, we have something special planned. Starting off with the least exciting mod. This is actually specifically made for KSGs. Uh, this is the KSG 25 and you can tell we have two spikes for spiking things. And it kind of works as a standoff device as well. If you try to breach a door or something, gives you a little bit of room so you can, you know, won't blow up the end of your barrel. Let's see if it works. The reason you don't want to be butted your whole barrel up against it is because then there's extra pressure in the barrel and it'll blow it up. So this is not safe at all. Dang. I mean, it wasn't not safe. FBI, open up. And then you run in, crackhead runs straight at you, and you want to just give him a new belly button. And then some guy's hiding behind cardboard. And then, oh shoot. Oh no, we're out. But thankfully, we bought some other weird invention. It's a, it's a spare round that stays in your grip. Ah, that's how you do it. Pull it out, reload, and uh, bad guy who's made of sand is coming at you. Stand. Really bad balance on him though. And you blast him. <laughs> and you blast him. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see what else the internet has to offer. Matt, you forgot to stab anything. You're right. Hold on, let me try stabbing this table. We'll see if it'll like stick in here. I mean, it would for sure hurt. Oof. That'll be my calling card. They'll call me the snake. Two little holes in whatever I kill. Snake I'll, bite. I'll also stab it. Next up is, uh, I think this is gonna be really dumb. You know when you're a kid and you had paintball guns? And the paintball guns had these big long triggers with like two finger grooves in them so that you could shoot really fast by going because if you had a single trigger, it wasn't as fast if you were doing this. So they made that for uh, an AR-15. <laughs> so this trigger, it rocks back and forth. It goes, so the actual trigger is still in this gun. This thing just, this unit goes in there and has a rocker and every time it rocks one way or the other, it will fire that trigger. So you rack it, when you pull this way, it fires. When you pull this way, it fires. And so theoretically you could just rock it back and forth and it will fire. Is that good for anything though? 
Probably not. Let's find out. Also, this thing is named the Shocker. I don't get it. I don't, uh, me neither. This is the CMMG Banshee 4.6, and uh, we put the Shocker on it. Um, all right, let me just make sure they both work. That was low. That was the high one. So the thing about the paintball guns is they're really light. This one is not light because it basically has a lever over your actual trigger. So I don't know. Let me just try. I don't think this is going to be faster. Let me try to... Nope. What if I have... <laughs> That's pretty quick. I wonder if I... Yeah. All right, we're out. Let me, let me load one more mag. I'm going to say this is probably not a good product. I'm going to mag dump this as fast as I can. My double grip method is the best. I was getting peppered with some brass right there. Yeah, great product. Uh, I'd highly recommend from Demolition Ranch. So we actually bought two of those triggers. Uh, they're different though. This is one we just shot with the curved trigger. This one that we have on this AR has a flat trigger. So it may actually work different, maybe better, maybe worse, maybe exactly the same. We also um, modded this gun with some extra mag holders. So as you know, the mag goes right there. But when you, you know, empty your mag, then you gotta go to your, your belt or your pouch or your backpack or your vest and pull it out. What if the mag was just right here? So this is from a company called Fab Defense. Well, it's funny, it actually has a little mag release here. So that locks in the mag. So you drop your mag, you pull this one. Okay, let's come. Pull that one out, shove it in. Okay, but maybe you're like, Matt, two mags is not enough. No problem, because this gun holds three. Same deal, same company. The buttstock has a mag that locks in the buttstock as well. So we got 90 rounds ready to rock. We also have a brand new AR-15 mag loader from Angry Stag called the Easy Load. Uh, I have not tried this yet. We saw them at SHOT Show. They sent us one. You can see it. It's dropping ammo down here. It's supposed to load this thing up 30 rounds. It's got 8 out of 30 in there so far. You know what's nice about this? My fingers, they don't hurt at all. They feel so good. 15 out of 30. That's cool. Let me see them all falling down here one at a time. Magazine loaded. That's pretty crazy. 30 rounds? Perfect. All right, uh, we're not sponsored by them at all. Uh, they just asked if we wanted one. We said, sure. So. Yeah, check them out. That's pretty cool. What about a tiny baby mag? Is this 10? All right. Change load quantity. David's Your mom. mom. Dang it. Mm -hmm. Go. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Look how good it is. <laughs> I guess I'm going to try my method to dump this one and see if this... I don't know, let me try just this way. Is that an acorn? Uh, I, I broke the button. Oh no! How did that happen? I don't know. Oh, there it is. Uh, so at some point, the pin fell out of the button, which dropped the mag onto my toe. But that was perfect, because I needed a mag at that exact time. So we'll, we'll just uh, reload. All right, let's see. Reload! We need more! This trigger is the hardest thing ever to actually do anything with. The mags though, that's that's really good. You guys might have been wondering, what the heck is this thing? Well, that is in fact called a hindsight. It's a mirror. It's so you can look around a corner maybe, make sure everything's clear, or while you're firing, you can see what's in your rear view in case anybody's trying to sneak up behind you. Pretty sweet. All right, we're gonna actually try out this weird trigger on the long range. Let's see if I can hit that target. <laughs> Oh, this is a... Ah! I'm gonna bind you. Thank goodness I missed. <laughs> oh, we bought a, a star mag. So this thing's actually good if you're in like a state like California where you can only have 10 rounds. 
you've got 10 rounds in each mag, but they're connected in the middle. So you have five rounds, 10 rounds each. And actually, five mags, five mags of 10 rounds each. <clears throat> and actually, I was just uh, messing with it. You can pull this off and put a 30 round P-mag on there. So you could have five rounds of 30 in a star. There's one. This is actually really nice for stuff like this. All right. We'll be back when our five rounds are filled. You five, can leave. Five minutes. Dang it! <laughs> you know how China has Chinese throwing stars? America's never had one. Until today. It's just made out of Air 15 mags. <sighs> You've been inseminated by freedom. Let's see if it works. Cool. Jam. Uh, <laughs> well, well, well. <laughs> What's it? The mag? Was it the trigger? We don't know. <laughs> oh no, I'm out. No problem. I'm back in. <laughs> All right, uh, that's really dumb. But it got me thinking, if you have five mags, couldn't you have five guns? Uh, it's time for a commercial break. We'll be right back. Wait. Okay, so, right, and you know you can switch mags, but what would be faster than switching mags? Just turning. Switch to your side arm, it's faster. Switching, switching to your side long arm. Just switching to your gun, your other gun, and then your next gun. But the problem is, with these 10 round mags, the uh, the grips all hit. So we just cut all the grips off of my ARs. <laughs> and uh, all right, you follow me? Okay, uh, two's cool. What's cooler than two? Three, grips off. Oh uh, look, there's another gun with no grip. Four. Oh, look, I just took a M16 and just chopped the grip off. I don't care. <clears throat> and then, oh, we make this. So you run out of ammo, you just, Rotate over, and you keep firing. I think it's gonna be a lot easier. I'm in danger. <laughs> okay, let's see how it works. <laughs> nice! <laughs> I, I thought I felt it shifting. I don't know what you were trying to do. <laughs> oh, I felt it. The, I was like, this gun's turning. And it's because it just ripped the base plate of the mag off. Oh, man. That okay, didn't, that's didn't all right. You know, one gun's down, but we have four left. So it's not a big deal. Let's go to the tried and true M16. Oh, no. We're out. How, this one's already jammed. We haven't even shot out of it yet. All right, we're good to go. Uh, uh. Oh, that little short barrel is kind of scary. <laughs> Holy cow! Oh! <laughs> okay. Two down, three down. We're still good though. Ow! Oh, we're out. On to the last one. Oh! Forgot that blast is huge. Whose idea was this? My invention needs a little bit of work. Whatever. <laughs> Be sure to check back next week because we ordered all the weird stuff for part two. In this video. <laughs> How are the chicken strips, guys? Hey!